In Israel, young scientists shoot for the stars. Inspired by the Israeli scientist who shot for the moon, it's the 22nd annual contest for the best and brightest ideas from around the country. This type of competition is amazing because it lets kids to explore what they feel like um, might be interesting for them and kind of seriously look at it and the level of the works that are submitted to this competition is absolutely stunning. And this is why uh, um, we are, you know, I, I encourage kids to, to do this. Jonathan Weintraub won the Israel Young Scientist and Developers Contest in 2005 for his work on satellites. Just weeks ago, his project was fired into orbit. It kind of opened my, my uh, road towards space because this was one of the first uh, projects that I actually did and then developed it forward. And until then, one day I find myself uh, building a rocket ship to the moon. And for Jonathan, science is a family affair. His younger brother is now taking a shot at the same prize. In fact, almost all of his siblings have engineering, technology, or medical careers. I don't think we are competing. My brother and I chose our way. We have our own fields of research and don't really cross over. He does things I don't, I do things he doesn't. Tommy isn't focusing on the stars, though. Instead, he's exploring the vistas of cyberspace teaching machines to make music. To create something that isn't just pre-programmed. When we test an algorithm, we compare the answers it gives to the answers we want. But with music, we have to try something different. That music you've been hearing, all composed by Tomi's algorithm, the machine reinventing traditional tunes. And teachers say work like this is crucial to building the next generation of Israeli minds. When you ask the kids, like years afterwards, for many of them it was a crucial, a crucial point of their life because it changed the, 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 the direction or they decide to go to science. And these teenage innovators are tackling very Israeli issues, from the beaches. Our first machine is this gyroscopic sensor. This one detects the tides and currents, and you can see the warning indicator change colors. To the country's constant security concerns. Um, basically a, a mechanical uh, automatic system that gets a signal from, uh, from uh, home front in Israel and, uh, cl and, closes the, uh, and closes the window down. This year's winner is still up in the air. 54 contestants are hoping their idea might just be the next big breakthrough. Ariel Levin-Waldman, I-24 News. <laughs>